Hey, what's up guys? It's Jack Pachiodars. I'm out at a pretty decent sized park today. It's got a few ball fields on it. It's amazing out. It's like 60 degrees. And I'm with Rob, the gold coins guy, who's with me today. And this old this old park used to be um, a giant farm field, of course. And um, yeah, part of it used to be over there. It's like still like woods over there. A lot of long grass, but it's way too ticky. It's like tick fill in there. So we're sticking to this park, and we've only been here for like 10 minutes, and I think we're gonna stick here for uh, quite a while, unless uh, somehow we get nothing, but I already hit silver, this is, this is great. And Rob actually just got a giant ring maybe three or four holes ago. The thing is giant, it's the biggest ring I've ever seen. It's, uh, I think it's like pewter or something. It's, it's real weird looking, I'll show you guys in a second. But I just hit silver, it's a silver quarter. It's a pretty good one. It looks a bit worn. Let me show you guys. So right as I turn the camera off, Rob shouts silver. He says he's got a silver rosy over there. This place might be real good. And I got myself a standing Liberty quarter. I haven't found a standing Liberty quarter in quite a while. It might be blank. A lot of them end up being blank. It's quite a bit worn. Yeah, look at how worn that is. That's... I love these coins so much. Oh yeah. Standing Liberty. All right, and he's got himself a rosy. I'll go run over and show you guys. <laughs> Good job, Rob. Silver day. Silver day. Look at this. Look at that little rosy. Oh, 1953. Nice shiny right there. Well, good job, Rob. Thanks. Hopefully we'll get a bunch more. Hope so. It'd be awesome to walk out of here with a pocket full of silver. Yeah. That hardly ever happens, but yeah, no. then that would be nice. Just got a really cool iron back button. It's got some sort of design, I can't really tell. Is that like a crab? I think it's a crab. Not exactly sure. That'd be pretty cool if it's a crab. Got the first wheat scent. Not too far from the Standing Liberty Quarter. Also got another one of those iron back buttons with a cool design. I'll show you guys at home. I think the date's 1956. Not too, not too old, but it's weedy. Alright guys, so I was getting... Uh, I forgot what it was that I actually dug here. But it was something I dug here. And I think it was a Jefferson nickel. Rechecked the hole, and I was getting a faint little chirp. Do you guys see that? Actually, I don't think you actually can. But right, meh, right there. What is it gonna be? It's a rosy. It's a rosy. It is a rosy. 1958. There we go. Two silvers today. And I've gotten a couple wheat pennies as well. All right. Took one step. This signal is coming in a little bit better, like 80 on the dot. I still figured it'd be a memorial. I've gotten quite a bit of older, deep memorials. And we got ourselves another silver rosy. I haven't checked the date yet. Let's see it together, 1946. All right, any mint mark? I don't think so. All right, that's three silvers and four silvers total for this little kind of big park, actually. So, it's exciting. Hey guys, we just made our oldest coin find of the day. It's down about six inches, and I was getting a nickel signal. A lot of the Jeffersons were at deepest around four inches, so I was really hoping for like a buffalo or a war nickel or something, and we got an even older nickel. I can't believe this. It's a V nickel. Can't see the date yet, but you can tell that that's a V nickel, and it might be in decent shape. There we go. All right, I'll clean it up at home. That's an exciting moment right there. First signal after the V nickel. We just got ourselves our fourth weedy of the day, I believe. That's the fourth. And Rob got himself a couple. There you can see the one cent. All right. Just got another weedy. I think it's my sixth. 
but it's the first older one. I can see the date, 1919. It's great. It's in great shape too. All right. I've been getting a bunch of these like 40s buttons. I think they're from like the 40s and 50s. The Ironback. They all got like cool designs. I got two of the exact same ones too. I'll show you guys all of them at home. Guys, take a little peek into this hole. I just hit my fourth silver of the day. Let's see what it's going to be. It was right in that, like, it was down there, flicked it up. It's probably going to be a rosy. Yes, sir. We got ourselves another rosy. 1961. I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm not even showing you. 1961. From Denver. There we go. Bunch of rosies in here. And I've gotten like since the last two rosies in that V nickel. <coughs> excuse me. Corona. <coughs> um, <laughs> I've gotten about 10 weed pennies. They're all over the place suddenly. But alright, that's great. I just found another one of those iron back buttons. They're all over the place in here. I've gotten maybe like a dozen. Some are the exact same, and Rob's got a few too. Look at this one, this one's pretty cool. Coolest design yet. Finally got like the first farm field sort of relic. It's an old buckle. I don't really know how old, maybe like early 1900s probably. That's a good find right there. So here we are back with all the finds. I'm gonna start with some of the uh, clad and decent stuff. Um, I had a ton of trash, just threw it all out. It was like piles of it before we start to show you some stuff i want to make sure everybody goes and checks out rob's new channel red comet relic recovery i just started it up just making some cool little videos making some great finds and uh it's really impressing out on the field so go check out his channel and uh, i'm sure you're gonna love it so for this hunt we got 953 in clad pretty sure it was unhunted there was signals like every step we got um, mainly like a 40s area, 40s and 50s. Got all these like 50s buttons. The iron back like buttons with all these designs, which are really cool to find. There's so many of them, ringing up all funky and stuff. Fun to find. Got an old buckle. Um, oh, is this the wheat penny pile? Yes, it is. This is the wheat penny pile. We got 1919, an old one. And I think that's the only old one it is, yeah. We got one 1959 Canadian penny. All these wee pennies are 40s and 50s. And there's 19 total, 18 40s and 50s. One, I'm losing hair. And, um, yeah, so we'll get to the silvers now. Here they are, the five main coins of the day. Got three rosies. Beautiful SLQ and a V nickel, which kind of I think that might have just been dropped way earlier than the rest of this stuff. 1889 V nickel. Start with that. Not too bad of shape. 1889. Pretty old one. I was excited about that. Be quiet, mom. I got uh, three rosies. 1946. 1961, 1958, and Rob got a 1953 Rosie. All got silver today. Four silver coins is a pretty good haul, five total. The SLQ is awesome. Of course, blank and really worn. Um, actually, most of my SLQs do have dates, so I mean, I'll take a blank one anyways. That's awesome. Yeah, those are the... Uh, the finds from the park, nothing, nothing crazy like 17, 1800s, but well, one 1800s fine. But man, I love finding those silver coins. That's awesome. Keep adding the uh, tallies up on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to go check out Rob's new channel, Red um, Red Comet Relic Recovery, and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Thank you for watching and happy hunting.